This is what a well annotated YouTube video looks like in Rome Research. When your video is annotated like this, is you can click on any of these little buttons and it'll just go straight to that part of the video and start playing for you. You can open it up, leave notes, and it's a wonderful way to capture and take notes on video content in Rome Research. So we are going to need a little extra code. It's going to be this one here called YouTube Mods. This is all located on something I call the graph template, which I've shared publicly, and I'll leave a description and a link in the show notes. I ingest a lot of video content, and this has become an important feature to me of the use of my Rome Research graph. It's October 23rd, and I want to watch this YouTube video, and I want to take notes. The creator of this video has done something really nice for us. They've created these video chat. So instead of just watching the video on YouTube the way most people would, we're going to click share, and we're going to copy this link. We're going to take this link over into Rome Research. We're going to make a time block, and then I'll paste in watched YouTube video. So I'm going to click this little button and it brings this in, and you can see these little rounded edges. That's a feature of this particular plugin. It is not a Rome native feature. Then I'm going to indent underneath here. This is the magic. You remember I said that the YouTuber did a nice little bit of work for us. So we're gonna go and we're just gonna copy these chapter points. And then we're gonna come over here and I'm gonna hit Command Shift V, because I want them to come in clean with no formatting. Now I just hit enter, enter, enter. So it's enter, delete, command, right arrow. Enter, delete, command, right arrow. Enter, delete, command, right arrow. That's it. Now we have a wonderful starting point for watching this video. We have all of the chapter titles. When I start watching this video is I'll just watch. And then just come in here and fill in your notes on creating information gaps, notes on show, don't tell. What you've done is you have a, when you come back later and you say, oh gosh, notes on creating information gaps, you just click here, it'll take you right to that spot in the video and you can watch it again. This is super useful. I said I would show you uh, where to get the code for this. I have something I call the graph template, and I'll put a link to this in the show notes. In the graph template, I have shared this page with the public. So that is the link I'm going to get you. In this page, there's something called YouTube Mods. I did not write this. This was written by uh, C3 Founder, and you can go check out the code on their GitHub. But what you have here is the necessary CSS and the JavaScript. What you'll do is you come here, you hit Escape, Command C on a Mac, and then you'll go back to our graph and you can see that I've already done this here. We create a page called graph template and we paste in YouTube mods just like this. All I did was command C, command V and when I open this up you'll notice that this box is red and when I open the CSS up it's red. We need to click those to activate that code and now you have the same YouTube mods and you can do the exact same thing you just saw me do.